Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm off to New York with my brothers. I have two. The first one is right here, hey, and the up? other one is right here. We're gonna be checking out a couple of cool places. Um, we're gonna be going to Staten Island. We're gonna be going to Times Square. And we're also gonna check out the Met Museum alongside some other cool places. And please tag along for the ride. As you guys know, I'm finishing up law school in Toronto. I just have one year left, but my brothers are also in university and one is just about to enter Waterloo Engineering. And because none of us have ever gone to New York City, we thought it might be good to plan a boys trip before everyone gets busy later in the fall. So we decided to meet up in Toronto. My brothers took the bus from Ottawa and they uh, were sitting in the bus for five hours and they finally came to my place. From there, we Ubered to the Toronto Pearson Airport. Since we left on Canada Day weekend, the airport was actually busier than we had initially expected. But because we left pretty early, we made it to our flight just on time. We booked both our departure and arrival flights with WestJet, and honestly, it was a very smooth experience. Pilots and flight attendants were fantastic. No complaints here. It's unlikely, but if cabin pressure changes, the panels inside the lavatory and above your seat will open, revealing oxygen masks. If Thank you. 
Entering New York City for the first time and stepping out of the airport was a pretty surreal experience because we hadn't really gone outside of Canada before. We've only ever been to Sri Lanka and the last time was nine years ago. However, upon arriving at the John F. Kennedy Airport in New York, you have to be careful about guys dressed up in suits who offer private taxi services. They will almost force you to ride with them if you are welcoming. What's even worse is that they charge you an outrageous amount of money. Unfortunately, as Canadians, we're welcoming to everyone, maybe too much at times. We didn't know any better and agreed to let this guy drive us to Manhattan. I guess you live and learn. What can you do? But please, do be careful guys when you're arriving in New York and stay away from these fraudsters. We finally made it to downtown New York, and I have to tell you, it was pretty cool to see. I had never seen so many people in busy streets in one place before. Living in Toronto did expose me to a lot of hustle and bustle, but not nearly as much as New York did. Thank you. 
After exploring downtown for a bit, we decided to take an Uber to Staten Island. As you guys might know already, my family is Singalese, and in Ottawa, where we're from, there's only a tiny Singalese population. Everyone knows each other. When I was living in Toronto last year, my mom actually sent me a news article about a girl who was born and raised in Queens, New York, but who was also Singalese by background. She ran a Singalese restaurant in Staten Island with her parents, and she had her own museum, which we wanted to check out. Her name is Julia Wijay Singen. Before checking out the restaurant, we decided to go see the museum first. There, we were given a tour by Julia and her mom. Both were fantastic and really amazing people. I couldn't film much here just because I was too busy talking to them, but honestly, it was really cool to see Singley's heritage and culture featured in a museum in the US. After grabbing lunch at the restaurant, we took the Staten Island Ferry back to mainland New York so that we could see the Statue of Liberty on our way back. Upon arriving in mainland New York, we checked into our hotel and left our stuff there so that we could walk an hour and 30 minutes over a bridge into downtown so that we could see Times Square.
After checking out Times Square, we came back to our hotel and decided to take it easy for the night because we planned to go see the Met Museum in downtown the next day.
At the end of our stay in New York, I was honestly very sad to leave and come back to Canada. New York showed us a great time. We saw a ton and met great people which made it very memorable. As someone who works in corporate law, time is hard to come by. And so I was glad that I took this opportunity to explore a different city. At the JFK airport, we decided to check out the souvenir shops to bring some gifts back to Canada with us. I actually bought a small Statue of Liberty for myself and my neighbor in Toronto. After arriving back in Toronto, my brothers left back to Ottawa. I was very grateful that I got the chance to travel with them to New York. I hope that I get to do it again sometime, soon, with them. I guess, let's see where life takes us. Thank you for watching this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment, and I will see you in the next one.